Academic Empowerment and Care WeCare is an ongoing project that champions for recognition of care work as a barrier to women economic and political empowerment. This is through the couple sessions that address negative perceptions, retrogressive cultural practices and traditions, as well as depicting the interconnection of provision of certain infrastructural contribution to the reduction of unpaid care through recognition of unpaid care as a duty, not responsibility, redistribution of unpaid care when partners take up unpaid care tasks, reduction through responsive care policies, and representation through participating in decision-making processes. Jina langu ni Grace Akinyi, naishi Kawangware, Muslim village. Mimi ni champion ya unpaid care work. Unpaid care work nilipenda sana juu inahusu kona ine ya maisha yangu. Kona ya kwanza ni kwa afya. Unpaid care work tuki, tulisoma visuri tukaonelea kuhusu afya, afya ya mama inarudi inakuwa visuri kama mwelewana na mzee mzee anafanya kazi zingine na we unafanya kazi zingine afya yako inarudi kuna maji tuli advocate kama unpaid care work mpaka tukaletoa maji karibu sasa mzee anaweza chota kwa friji aingize kwa nyumba kazi inarudi chini tena unpaid care work sisi kama domestic small scale traders mimi nafanya biashara yangu kando na barabara Sasa hapo kando na barabara barabara hii kuwa mzuri ambayo ilikuwa inaribu security yetu nikienda kuchukua mboga asibui tuka advocate for that ambaye sasa barabara inatengeneswa na tumefurahia wakati kabla sijajua unpaid care nilikuwa na nina kwa akili yangu ilikuwa ile kazi za nyumbani haikuwa kazi kwa maoni yangu lakini ilikuwa ni kama majukumu ya bibi ya bibi yangu kufanya lakini wakati nilipo niliposoma hii masomo ya unpaid care ndio maana nikaipea kipaumbele kwa sababu nilijua si majukumu bali ni kazi na kazi tukisaidiana kutakuwa na manufaa bibi yangu wakati wa kwanza wakati tulikuwa naye bila kujua hii unpaid care mimi sikuwa naingia jikoni yeye alikuwa anapika tu tukikula wakati nilianza kuingia jikoni hata mimi nami nikazihushisha jikoni siku moja nikaombea kaa chini nipike De, na nitoe chakula tukule alifurahi sana kuanzia hapo aliniheshimu ananipenda mpaka saiso naona hiyo ni moja wapo ya faida ya unpaid care hapo nyuma siku anikijisisa kwa kazi ya nyumba sana sababu eh ilikuwa tunategemea mama ndiye alikuwa anafanya kazi nyingi ya nyumba but eh, baada ya kuwa kwa mafunzo ya Oxfam ndio nilipata kujifunza kutoka kwa Oxfam kwa kazi ya nyumba lazima nisaidiane na mama pamoja kazi ya nyumba nimeona tangu nianze kusaidiana na mama kwa kazi ya nyumba eh, mama amepata na kuku kiasi sababu hapo awali nilikuwa nikiwachea kazi zote eh, na saa hii na baada ya kujua kuwa kazi ya nyumba tunafaa tutelee na mama pamoja ndio hata pia yeye pia apate kazi rahisi ya kwenda ku kwa nyingine kama za mtano hizo hizo mtano za wanawake na kadhalika nilikuanga na kazi ngumu kwa nyumba jumii ni mtu mmoja unataka umane gizi vitu zote mzee yeye kazi yake ilikuanga tu unamte, unatengeneza kila kitu yake kuja amekaa tu hata wewe ndio kila kitu juu yeye ndio boss yeye ndio mwenye kusema sasa tangu hii mradi ya Oxfam kuje ikaleta mafunzo wa baba wasaidiane na wamama kwa kazi za nyumba zisizolipwa hizo nimeona mabadiliko makubwa Sasa hii anaweza kusaidia tuseme mtoto analia anaweza beba ambapo kitambo ilikuwa ni nini mtoto analia ndio unamkidhimikia Sasa zingine umeweka chakula pale chakula inaiva ati iungue hata toa atawacha tu hapo mpaka wewe uende uache ile kazi nyingine unafanya ukimbie huko sasa 
kitambo ulikuwa unapata we ni mtu mmoja saa zingine unafua unapika mtoto ndio huyo lakini saa hii naona nikiendelea na hii pande hii na yeye pia anashika pande hii sasa imeleta kazi kuwa rais kwa nyumba si ngumu kama kitambo alafu nilikuwa nachoka ilikuwa inalazi, inalazimu unaamka kitu saa kumi na nusu kulala ni late kitu saa ti, ta, sita huko Yuli, kitambo umalize kazi zote inachukua muda mrefu lakini saa hii naona tunasaidiana na maliza mapema na lala on time kutoka pia sikioki vile nilikuwa nachoka ile nilikuwa nachoka kabisa penye naona kuna pengo unajua ni kitu ajazoea alikuwa ajazoea ndiye anaanza sasa unaona kuna uoga fulani tuseme mtu akuja hivi anaona eh huyu ataniona nikifanya hii na mimi ni mwanaume sasa hapo unaona ni kama bado kuna uoga kidogo well initially when uh, when i married my wife actually resisted what i was doing because she was coming from another set of family set up but as at now she's really enjoying and in fact the advantage we have is that in our family as our living the children we have a peaceful family whereby uh, each and every person is very free and even our children sometimes you find that we have young children who are, are already all of them they, 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 they can work in, they can do work in the kitchen they can wash utensils and whatever so one thing the love the family as a whole the responsibility that is in the family apart from uh, bedroom affair other responsibilities in the family each and every person does initially my wife used even to give me water to, to wash my hands when i who can bring but, but i told her i told her that you are brought up in a different way so one of the most uh, benefit that we have is peace we have a lot of peace in the family because uh, each and every person is independent whether she comes late she will get things okay in the house whether i come late i'll get everything prepared in the house so that is one which many i do not actually enjoy but i enjoy that because already in the family we have peace total peace I started understanding that it is important for me to engage in the unpaid care work the moment I started uh, interacting with Youth Alive Kenya. You know, it is not until then that uh, I was uh, in a position to understand better the role of a man in a family. And uh, from, since then, it, it has taken me like two years, two to three, two to one and a half years when I got the information and uh, through that I have been in a position to spread it out and also to some extent take it as a part of my work to also educate some of my male counterparts in our society. As an African, I reason like an African man and in African is a taboo to see a man of my stature going back to the kitchen and wash the, 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 the utensils or perhaps taking care of the kid, changing the diapers. That is something that even if my friends come to my house and realize that that is what I'm doing, one, way, one thing they would say, nimekaliwa chapati. It's a notion that's moving all, all over. That's a challenge. Two, uh, we were not yet informed then, and we were not informed by that time. And we realized that when the information is not reached to the person, he may not know whether doing it is, is good or it's bad. Three, even our women, some of them who are not informed, they look at it from their negative point of view, that now this man has started to come into the kitchen, want to run away with uh, you know my duty who is is like taking over the the, the the you know the kitchen stuff not because she doesn't understand but because that is how she is raised in a manner that kitchen is for women washing is for women uh changing the diaper is for women so when she sees you starting doing such kind of a job without that information that it's uh, a 50 50 sharing she will definitely uh, look at it as if you are taking over from her however contrary to that from a point of knowledge after having been trained and also engaging with my my spouse and other and other colleagues we have seen the importance of doing that because one it saves time a lot to the to the partners uh, you'll realize that uh, when you don't engage much 
there is a lot that this person undergoes through and perhaps she silently suffers without informing you. Two, uh, there is a harmonization of uh, relationship within the, the society. In a family where people speak, where people talk, where people share, there is that, uh, uh, there is that uh, strong bond within the, the family setup. And in that doing, it uh, promotes our peace, it promotes unity, and above all, each and every person gets as if it's a, a share, has a say and a stake in the, that relationship. So by and large, it has helped, it is helping, and it's a good thing that I, as Michael, have practiced it, and also would want to encourage and uh, uh, tell my colleagues out there that uh, we as men, we must be the champion of this in order to, real, to actualize its uh, intended goal. For us, we have seen this project transforming communities from the household level. And we believe it's high time for the Nairobi County Government together with the NMS to now em uh, embrace uh, care work, responsive budget and policies. And again, we want to thank everyone who's been together with us, our women champions, the family, the county government, the policymakers, and the duty bearers. Yes, we can do this if we join hands and appreciate that sort of to the Ocean Academy in as the new normal. At Tio Taleb Kenya, this is our contribution to sort of to the Ocean Academy in and also a symbol of how we care. How do you care?